good morning. I'm out early today because I have to go to an appointment. Well, I have to do blood work, rather. My appointment is next week. So I'm out a little early um, to do that. Then I got, I'm coming back home so that I can log into work. Um, but yeah, I wanted to make this video about how blessed I am to be able to have, you know, people to fall back on when I need to. And people, I'm talking about my kids. I see so many posts and so many different things. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out what happened over there. The whole gate, like one part of the gate, like something bit out of it. Yeah. Anyway, um, I see so many posts and you see so many um, comments and different things. I, I, I've seen it over the years, especially as my family has grown, about people talking about, you know, women having children and their older children are left to raise the younger children, right? So... They talk about when they have children, because most times it's, it comes from their inner, something that has happened personally to them, they had to babysit or raise their younger siblings, so they make sure when they have children that they don't do it, do that, you know. But for me, I did help take, so I grew up as an only child, you know, I, I think I probably mentioned this in almost every video, <laughs> but I grew up as an only child, I was raised by my um, paternal grandparents, right, I was raised and adopted by them. But I did help with my, like, so my biological father lived close to me, but I did help, you know, babysit my younger sisters when they were younger. So, like, he would call me and my sister that's the same age and be like, y'all come right here babysit the baby, right? So, we, we did that, and I babysit a lot of kids, like, from a young age, or well, even now, I babysit now. I don't know why people would, like, can you babysit? And I, I always babysit, right? But with me and my children, it's just us, right? And so sometimes you need that help. It, 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 it's no way to, it, I mean, it, I know every situation is different. Everybody is different, right? But it's times where I need to fall back on my kids, right? And I'm like, okay, listen, I need y'all to keep them because I got to go to work. I need y'all to keep them because I got to go to an appointment. Or, or listen, I need to take a step away. Can y'all watch these little kids? You know what I'm saying? In my life, I'm speaking for me, speaking from, you know, my experiences. And y'all, I'm going to take this golf off when I get to the doctor's office. <laughs> I'm not going there like that. But speaking from my own experience, I thank God that I have my older children that can help me and don't mind helping me with my younger children, right? I do a lot for my kids, not because, oh, well... This, you know, I do a lot because I, I love that. I love to see them happy. But then also, I do a lot. My daughter, my, my daughter's 17. She'll be 18 in October. She's going into her senior year. This girl cooks. And I don't have to ask her. If she if she vibe with me and feel like I'm tired or whatever, she'll text me and be like, I'm going to cook tonight. Or she'll be like, you know, like she just, she always, she's always willing to help. Now, sometimes she'll be having attitudes, like as far as just her, who she is. But like, she's always willing to help. Wait a minute, where I'm going? Okay, I'm going to go straight. Yeah. Y'all, it's 8.10. I got to be to the doctor at 8.15. I'll be there about 8.17. <laughs> but um, I'm just so thankful. I've been thinking that's been on my heart and my mind for like the last week or so. I'm just so grateful and I'm thankful that they're willing to help. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they step in. I can step away, honestly, when I want to. If I need to take a break, you know what I'm saying? I can step away and there's no issues. But what I was saying was that's why I go so hard for especially I mean you know if, if, if you know me and then if you watch us on social media you know um the life that we live I mean nah we're not rich by far you know but I make it happen all the time you know my daughter like you know a lot of high-end stuff like Uggs and all that so imagine though when you have seven kids and everybody want Uggs um and, and the little ones are piggybacking off the big ones. They don't know what Uggs, are, what Uggs are, right? But they be like, oh, we want Uggs. You know what I'm saying? And it's, they don't even know what Uggs are. But let me tell you, my sister in Christ, my God sister, I don't even know what to call them. Like, their mother adopted me, but really their mother's like my son's God mother. Um, but, like, I'm the same age as her children. So, like, she kind of, like, adopted my entire family. So, guess what? They step in and buy the kids Uggs. Like, when I tell you we blessed, we are blessed. And that's just the physical, but I'm talking about, like, just 
with the kids or the, not the physical but the material um with the kids just i can just walk away and step away when i need to you know i've lived that life to where i couldn't right because my older set is three it's three children and they're 17 16 and one will be 13 next week the baby of the oldest set will be 13 next week and it was a time when i couldn't step away without them you know what i'm saying i had to take them with me all the time you know back during that time when they was young my mother would get them you know for a little while but my mother also so when i say my mother again i'm talking about my grandmother so she had raised her kids raised me she was tired right so she wasn't always able to get them but she did she did she did quite often because they love being with her but you know really i didn't always have a way or you know somebody to step away somebody to get them so i could step away and take a mental break i'm gonna talk about what i went through recently a few months ago which has put me in this position to say listen i need to take a mental break from y'all from even not y'all older ones you know um but i'm i'm just my heart is so grateful and thankful that um that that that, that work that's what works for our family you know what i'm saying and then when we have to do things like you have to see us when we outside right and all seven or all, all eight of us are outside like so the kids have their person every every young little kid know who their person is right so jace person is now i don't know who jace person is i don't know if it's jacob or Jai, honestly <laughs> i can't remember but baby's person is Sasa. And then Jada's person is one of the big boys also. And we all kind of toggle Be Berry around. Because Berry, one person can't do it deal with Berry all the time. But Berry chose his person, honestly. It's Ja. But we have to kind of float him around between me, Sasa, and Ja. Right? But you have to see the little kids. They be like, I I'm going with my person. Or or if like they like to ride the golf cart. I talk about that a lot. And the baby will say, like if Sasa say, no, you can't go with me, baby. Be like, but you my person. It's so funny that you know just the way that they're bonded, and they, they I mean, it's a it's a big age difference. Um, I told you about the older ones, the younger ones, the six, five, four, and then Barry will be two next month. Everybody's birthday is coming up, so I'm about to from July through December. It's a birthday every month, and so I have six months of birthdays, and then I have a break for January and February. And then Jadis is March, and Baby is April, and then May and June, I have to an, another break or whatever. Um, so we about to go. Like, I thank God, though, that I, I don't have more than one birthday a month. You know, <laughs> like, I couldn't do it. So Jakob's birthday is July. He'll be 13 this year. Barry's birthday is August. He'll be two. My birthday is September. I'll be 36. And Sasa is October, she'll be 18. Jai is November, he'll be 17. And Jace is December, he'll be seven. Dang, Jace will be seven. Like, it's crazy because when I started having the second set of kids, I started, like, we lived in a, in a house for eight years. I bought my house, my first house when I was 21. And we lived in that house for eight years. <laughs> and eight or nine. However many. But anyway, it was eight or nine years right but when i started having a second set of kids it was three kids so then we went to four it was like nah we need something bigger before i even sold house you know i'm trying to figure out how i'm gonna sell this house because i had to i had to do like a, t a contingency meaning i could not purchase another house until i sold my house right so i had to do a contingency plan when selling the house so that made it hard because buyers don't want to wait that's basically what this is so if a buyer comes and buy your house or wants to buy your house they don't want to wait two or three months or up to six months just depending on how long it takes you to find something to move into their house you know what i'm saying so it worked out different things you know something different that working out for me at that at my old property that was done and then i bought this house but i said well that's to say it feels like i just like we just bought this house we've been here for five years and the little kids are getting big and i noticed from the big ones like i i cannot believe sasa will be 18 like homegirl is driving thinking she you know grown a little bit <laughs> but I'm, I'm just so grateful i'm so thankful i'm just 
I, I'm thankful, um, and I want to do something special for them this weekend. Y'all, I'm a cry baby. I kind of want to cry a little bit. My eyes feel like they're stinging a little bit, and I had to just now swallow because I felt the tears coming. I'm a cry baby when it comes to my kids. Like when it comes to them, I'm I, I'm I'm gonna cry every time. Guarantee that. Okay. So, um, but I want to do something special for them this weekend. We're gonna finish school shopping. And I want to do something special for them. And I when, and let me tell you how grateful my kids are, right? They work the masters this year. So a little you know, their money that they made, they decided that they wanted to buy their, their clothes. I let them do that. I bought their sneakers. And we're not gonna talk about these raffles. I cannot stand how they do this raffle stuff, right? I'm never I've never been a big joy in person or what or anything, or even these ones, but my kids like that type of stuff. And so how I did it this year, I told them they can do the raffles, but they're gonna do um well and we had to do it early, right? Because that's the only like for financial reasons, like I can't just say, Oh, okay, well, you can tell me saturday that this new raffle coming out wednesday i had to line my stuff up so you know i keep money saved up for stuff like this but just let me know in advance don't tell me a day or two before that these sneakers coming out and this is what you're doing you know what i'm saying so um anyway long story short we did the raffles and all of that and they got them sneakers but when i tell you them sneak that this stuff with them sneakers got on my nerves this year you know what i'm saying it got on my nerves and Ja, he into ones now so now the last minute he so he, he got two pairs i got him one and his daddy got him one and he calling me telling me oh he gotta go get these sneakers this weekend now he because remind you he's talking to his daddy about getting the sneakers they he got the raffle won the raffle the daddy done sent the money but who take you get these sneakers right it's just so crazy because i work one saturday a month and the saturday that those sneakers came out was my saturday to work i think that was that saturday Y'all, my mind is all over the place. My mind just, I gotta stop claiming that though. But I got the sneakers out the way for the big kids. Um, everybody got whatever they're gonna get. The little kids now is who I gotta get sneakers for this weekend. And I did get them, I started getting their clothes. So I gotta get underclothes and all of that. Their godmother, sister, aunt, whoever, how we wanna label her got their book bags and lunch boxes so we're gonna do a back to school haul because that next week is their last week out so we're getting excited we're gonna do their rooms and just get them together i'll have six children in school six all six kids will be in school Derry is the only one that'll be home and that's a blessing and they left me with the rough one Ooh, Derry is a force to be reckoned with i tell you that much and during this time, I miss my father so much. I really miss him. Like, we be talking all the time, and we be talking about these kids and what they doing, and they be going to school because baby was his favorite. <laughs> I just really miss my father. But we're going to keep him in our hearts and the memories. And I still tag him in Facebook pictures and stuff like that because he just needs to know what's going on. <laughs> it just makes me feel good to do that, so. But all right, y'all, I'm arriving to this office, and I hope everybody has a good day, or have a good day. Um, I just took a couple hours PTO, but I'm going to work. I'm going to finish out my day, because I got to make these coins. <laughs> I thank God for my job, too. Like, And I make a little bit of money, but y'all, with seven kids, I don't make no money. The money be like, nope. Kids spent it. Kids ate it up. But alright, y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Keep God first. And remember to pray because prayer changes things. I'll talk to y'all later.